Welcome to 5G Hub. In this video, we will talk about integrated access and backhaul, IAB, links for 5G. The wide bandwidth in the millimeter wave range provides abundant capacity due to the large available spectrum. This bandwidth offers the potential of orders of magnitude higher transmission speeds than when operating in the congested bands below 6 GHz. However, operating in the M wave spectrum comes with its own set of challenges, severe path and penetration losses being one of them, and this leads to less coverage. So, this will lead to more sites deployment and densified small cell network. What is IAB? IAB stands for Integrated Access and Backhaul and sometimes is called Self Backhauling. Self Backhauling or IAB means that the access and backhaul share the same wireless channel. IAB is being considered as a means to reduce the deployment costs of ultra-dense 5G and wave networks, using wireless backhaul links to relay the access traffic. The economic constraints of rolling out 5G in the M-wave frequency range, can be considerably lowered by also using the wireless access spectrum for backhauling and, leveraging the M-wave inherent advantages. One of the most benefits of IAB networks is, reducing deployment costs compared to the networks without IAB, by obviating the need to provide wired backhaul, fiber, to each cellular base station. As a result, it is possible to use NR for a wireless link from central locations to distributed cell sites and between cell sites. This can simplify the deployment of small cells, for example, and be useful for temporary deployments for special events or emergency situations. Architecture-wise, IAB is based on the CU-DU split introduced in Release 15. The CU-DU split implies that the base station is split into two parts, a centralized unit, CU, and one or more distributed units, DUs, where the CU and DUs may be physically separated depending on the deployment. The lower part of the figure highlights that, an IAB node includes a conventional DU part that creates cells to which UAs and other IAB nodes can connect. The IAB node also includes a mobile termination, mount, part providing connectivity for the IAB node to, the DU of, the donor node. IAB RHEL 16 provides basic support for multi-hop and multi-path relaying. The solution supports quality of service prioritization of traffic on the backhaul link. Flexible resource usage between access and backhaul. Topology adaptivity in case of link failure. In RHEL 17 it would be possible to further evolve the IAB solution targeting increased efficiency and support for new use cases. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.